Welcome to Creation Studio Grab and Go. For the month of June, we are going to be making resist leaf painting. All of us have our grab and go bags here. If you haven't already picked one up, you can pick one up in the youth area of the library during the month of June until supplies run out. We're going to make 500 bags, so get yours while you can. All right, we're gonna see what's inside our bag. You guys wanna open it up? Yeah. So inside our bag, we have written instructions on how to do the craft. We also have watercolor paper. We have a white crayon. And last but not least, we have a watercolors paint set that comes with a paintbrush. There's a few other things that you might want to use and we're gonna go get those now. As you can see, we have some water for our watercolors now, a paper towel in case we need to dab our paintbrush on it. And as you can see, we also have some paint smocks. Uh, that is a good idea if you don't wanna get paint on any of your clothes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our watercolor paper and our white crayon and we are going to draw a leaf or leaves onto the watercolor paper. Now you might not be able to see your leaf very well, but try to make your lines as thick as possible so they show up after the painting is done. You can make your leaves any shape. Maybe you've looked outside at some of the leaves on the trees. You can draw leaves of any kind of shape that you've seen outdoors, or you can make up your own shape for a leaf. Once you're done coloring your leaf onto the paper, we're gonna take our paintbrush and dip it in the water, and then we can choose a water color. Maybe you want a leaf color like green uh, or orange or red or yellow, or you can pick any color. The only color that probably won't show up very well is white because we're doing this on white paper. And then you're gonna paint over the top of your leaf. Remember, you can use more than one color for your painting and you can blend them together. After a while, you're gonna start to see your leaf appear. Because the crayon makes a waterproof surface, the watercolor cannot get to the paper. Then you can just keep painting until you've covered as much of the paper as you want. Once you're done painting, all you need to do is let your lovely painting dry. And it could take about an hour for it to be fully dry. Thank you for joining us for Creation Studio Grab and Go. Next month for the month of July, we are going to be making sun sensitive paper art. Until then, bye. 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 bye.